welcome back to Morning Art and TV. It's a Friday, but before we get into our entertainment conversations, let's talk some business, especially for you, my fellow women, all right? So we do have, of course, uh, the Rising Woman, courtesy of DFCU. It is a program whereby you were called out to drop in your applications and proposals and of course uh, it went through a number of rigorous you know sifting so to speak and today marks that particular day where one of you will actually be awarded yes out of this particular competition and of course to break that down i do have victoria bianca she is uh, one of the managers right there under that particular program in dfcu bank bianca thank you so much for making time thank you good and morning. congratulations good thank morning you. You. i know season one was amazing we had had um, over 80 women applying and uh, we had Lynette take the crown. Mm -hmm. uh, congratulations to her. How is she doing? She's doing great. Mm -hmm. Actually, she's been having enormous benefits ever since. Because, you know, it did not just stop at the participation in the proposal writing. Mm -hmm. We profiled them. We, they traveled to Nairobi. So they went and benchmarked on successfully led women businesses in Nairobi. And the, 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 the benefit has been enormous. Yeah. She has received lots of funding. She has received a lot of exposure. I mean, she's not the same. She's not the same. No. Interesting. I, I'm keen to look at how our business is doing. She, of course, uh, is running Crystal Ice Limited. We'll have her tonight. Oh, <laughs> interesting. Are there words? Yes. All right. Look out for that. <laughs> Looking at season two, how has the journey been? I remember the, it was a big bus across uh, pretty much the town. Uh, women telling women, apply, send your yes. proposal, apply. Yes. And uh, we got 103. Yes. Tell us more about the process now that we are coming to the culmination of it. Season three, ha season two has been actually very interesting because we got lots of participation. I mean, the traction this time around has been enormous mm -hmm. in everything in terms of participation in the trainings, the business proposal participation. This time around, we got lots more um, active women that partook that uh, partook in uh, the campaign. Mm -hmm. But um, we had a criteria that we had to follow because we get issued guidelines. And we were requesting the participants to follow the guidelines. So it was very prudent for you to follow the guidelines. So, of course, they were screened by an independent auditor, mm -hmm. a firm that calls of transparency. And uh, we wanted to isolate ourselves so that everything is actually transparent. Which so auditor is this? Tuahakawase from Sejaka. Okay. That's the firm that did the screening. Mm -hmm. So they, are, they have the list of the winners, even I don't know. So we are going to see who the winners are this time around. But we are specifically looking for a proposal on business expansion. Business expansion with an impact on the community. We did not want this to be uh, something that is geared towards improving oneself. Mm -hmm. We wanted it to go to the community. That if, it, that if your proposal is to say, maybe expand your business, if your business is a school, how is it going to benefit the community? Is it just for you to, to receive money or to are you going to employ people? Mm -hmm. Are the students in that community going to benefit? Is it going to catch up on their tra on their movement? Do they have to travel far? Mm -hmm. If it's a health center, is it what is it for? Is it to to bring services close to the people, mm -hmm. or is it just for you? To so uh, the proposal ought to have shown clearly yes, the impact to on community. The community mm -hmm. Yes, it had to be on expansion, mm -hmm. but with a very good impact on community. So that was very key. All right. And I'm pretty sure when they were screening those, they, they yeah. really dealt into the into the detail because 103 is not a simple one. That's a big number. <laughs> and I'd like you to get into the criteria of selection because, you know, a majority of women always say that, I, are we really clear? How did they select the winner and stuff like that? So can you get us into the point by point kind of criterion? Just three, maybe. I can. <laughs> I do not know because, like I said, it was clearly done by... Tuaha Kawase said Jaka, yeah. the auditing firm. Yeah. So we they, they, they did the scoring, they looked at everything. All we did was provide the guidelines. So we are uh, we are bent on their jurisdiction. Mm -hmm. We know they did a good job mm -hmm. and we are waiting. Even I wouldn't tell you what he actually looked out for yeah. in this particular proposal because you know everyone has a different idea. Everyone has a different dream. Mm -hmm. So I'm pretty sure that we'll be able to hear that tonight from him 
or from the firm that actually did that because then they'll get into the detail mm -hmm. of how exactly they got into that uh -huh. score. Tonight. Yes. All right, because transparency is critical when yes. it comes to competition. Exactly. All right, so let's look at the benefits of uh, the, is it the first runners up, second runners up, and the winner? Uh, what do they stand to get? There's lots of things actually if, if anybody participated in the program, but not just for the Rising Woman competition, even DFCU Bank's Women in Business program on a whole. Because one, there's going to have a mentorship. They, they're going to have a mentorship program for one year. We have a Women in Business for Council. Free. Yes. We, ha we are governed by a council in the program. It's led by five women and they're going to provide a mentorship program mm -hmm. for our winners mm -hmm. for a year for free. They're going to get to travel to Nairobi to benchmark on successfully led women businesses and the skills they're going to get, the upgrading they are going to get is going to be very instrumental in their journey going forward. Mm -hmm. Those that have been needing financing uh, needs or those that have been looking out for a banking partner, this is their opportunity now. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't stop at DFC because this is a partnership with the Daily Monitor and the Ghana Investment Authority. Right. With the Investment Authority, they have lots of opportunities to tap into the investors that come into the country mm -hmm. because these investors come looking for local partnerships. And this is the opportunity because once you register with the program, then obviously you register with the other program, mm -hmm. with the other partners. Then with the daily monitor, there's going to be profiling. So these women are going to have exposure. For instance, last year's winners were all profiled and some of them were even um, lucky or they were privileged to have partnerships with people abroad because right. they were able to read their profiles online and then they were able to come in and improve them. For instance, our third runner up, our third winner, was able to get a partner from, I think, the United States, mm -hmm. who is improving their website, and they are now even importing her coffee, oh. exporting the coffee, so you can imagine. So that benefit is enormous. I'll just encourage any woman to look out for season three, obviously next year, because this one is coming to a conclusion. Right. But we are winding it up in a big bang. We have an expo. Right. Before we get into the expo, <laughs> let's look at the cash prizes. Uh, we're having the winner who's going to go home with about 30 million? 15. 15 million? Yes. All right. Then the other one will go with 10. 10 then the last one will five, go with 5 million. Yes. Um, my question to you is, especially, for example, borrowing from season one, Lynette, do you follow through with how they get to spend the you know, winning money, so to speak, how they make sure that this money does boost their businesses? Yes. Everybody had a different need. Mm -hmm. Lynette wanted to do research. She wanted to go and dive into this market and do research and find out what her product actually needs, who her target customer should be, where is she going wrong, how is she going to get it right. But she didn't have the money to do that. Mm -hmm. So this, is, this was her opportunity. She won the money. She was able to do the research. We followed her. We were able to see her step by step, everything that she did, uh, the cradle needed to put up an app where she needed to to up to upload in, um, information about uh, her her nursery or her baby business mm -hmm. where she needed to put up details about the 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 stuff that she works with and this has been gradual for her because up an, an app is not something that is very easy to put up, right. but we are also following her because she's been um, updating us along the way what she has done. Carla Mugosi, she bought her pulping ma machine. Wow. She was able to improve the livelihood of the women in Mbale because they were doing things manually before. But now they bought a pulping machine and they are able to produce over 10,000 kilograms of coffee, I think, per hour okay. with that. And that was something great. So it, this cash prize. Everybody has their need, mm. but we follow through and ensure that if you've won the money, please put it to that use that you actually came out to look for, to seek the financing for. Right. And it's, it's been incredible. Okay. Nobody wasted. Yeah. Everybody has been on point, And I must confess, we are happy. Oh, that's good. And you know, the beauty of this competition is that over and above the cash prize, you're actually exposed yes. to external funders. Mm -hmm. So growth is not limited. No. All right. So let's look at the expo now. That uh, Now that uh, the expo will be critical mm -hmm. in season two, because mm -hmm. it, it's a climax yes. to the entire season. Yes. Um, tell us more about it. It's going to start today. Yes. And today is also the awards day. Yes. <laughs> and tomorrow as well. Yes. They're also going to be having business clinics. Uh -huh. I mean, jump-packed. So tell us more about that. How do we plug in? Is it just for the participants or other women and men alike in business can plug in and come through? No, the public is invited. Okay. The public is invi invited and I, I encourage even the gentlemen to come. We have lots of activities that we've planned up in the expo. 
we have the business clinics like you've mentioned we'll have two today and two tomorrow mm -hmm. they'll be running from 11 to 1 and then 3 to 5 there'll be two two hours we'll be speaking about digital marketing selling tips how to juggle family life and business and uh, how to effectively take your business ahead. So I encourage everyone listening out here to come and partake. Entrance is restricted to buying a copy of the Daily Monitor, okay, which only. is only 2,000 <laughs> shillings. I mean, there's lots of things. You're going to have fun. Those with children will have bouncing castles and face painting. We'll have lots of fun for the children. Mm -hmm. So don't stay behind that you have a child and you don't know how to, to entertain them while you're being uh, taught in right. the business clinic. We'll cater for that. Okay. We'll have a dance workout routine tomorrow Fitness at 10, is key. Yes, 10 to 11. Mm -hmm. That is also something that I would encourage anyone to come and attend because I mean come and just shake the stress off. Yeah. You know it's really fun. And it's still free. Just pay 2,000 shillings, okay. buy the daily monitor uh -huh. and get in. Okay. Then there's going to be lots of goods that are going to be exhibited because we have over 100 exhibitors and this is your opportunity to find everyone in a one-stop center will be a one-stop shop for today and tomorrow so we'll be at hotel africana people's space and i just encourage everyone out there listening in to take some time off All and right. pass by okay interesting only two thousand you get a shilling get a copy and you get your answers in. yes interesting all right so you know tonight is going to be a big day mm -hmm. a big night it is a big few hours it is. <laughs> <laughs> let us look at the scope and what dfcu bank is looking at season one was amazingly successful yes. season two clearly is successful yes. um we know that uganda has 51 percent mm -hmm. 51 percent of the population in uganda is of women. women yes we are the majority yes so what is dfcu bank looking at what's your driving force why why the the critical focus on the women yeah because uh since time in memorial women have been marginalized they've been the marginalized gender um they've not been looked at as people that can actually come out and step up their own game and improve what they're doing so dfc took a deliberate effort to put up a program for women mm -hmm. specifically i'm not saying that men are not catered for there's lots of programs that they have actually um, participated in top 100 battle for cash the seeds of gold that you run mm -hmm. I mean there's lots of things that we do we have the best farmer competition in agriculture but this one is deliberately for women so what you are looking for is to further enhance the woman who's doing a business or if you want to start a business what is it that you want to do can we help we have the help we have strategic partners that are helping us drive this agenda mm -hmm. so DSC is looking f to uplift this woman We'll offer financial literacy, mm -hmm. we do mentoring, we do networking sessions that have helped the women link with other successful women in different business spheres to upskill themselves. Right. So we want to upskill them, we want to support them. Whether in nine financial or financial support, we will be able to do that because we have the capacity to do that okay. through our partnerships and also uh, what we offer as a bank. So DSC is looking for that woman that is in need or that already has a business right. but needs to improve it further We'll walk the journey with you. We understand your pain, we understand their needs, and we are telling them that if you join us or come and join DFCU Bank, we'll help take your business ahead, because okay. we are here to make more possible. All right, let's look at season three, um, because there are women who are now waiting eh, to jump on board. Uh, when are the dates, if any, if you we, have them, <laughs> or month? <laughs> we'll be communicating next year mm -hmm. but obviously i would encourage everyone to look out for the daily monitor newspaper because there's been lots of mention about that but we'll also do a big launch like we did this time around mm -hmm. i cannot uh, mention the dates here and now because we have to get back on the table and then agree with the partners we would not do it in isolation as dfc mm -hmm. bank so once that information is out we'll be glad or we'll come back here and do another interview about it okay and yes all right, we're looking forward to that. Um, as we wrap this up, can we turn up for their words, um, them that are watching us today? Or it's is it exclusive? It's exclusive, <laughs> it's by invite. All right. But I would like to congratulate all our participants that partook in this initiative in season two. And I would like to, to, to congratulate specific or special mention to the winners tonight. I don't know who you are, but if you're a winner, we are very excited to see you. We, awa we, we await what you're going to learn. We await what, what uh, you're going to take out of this. We await to see you grow. We want to walk the journey with you. Okay. And I'm very excited to see that season two has been, m has been more involving 
than season one. All right. So tonight is the big night. I can't wait myself <laughs> and see who these lucky winners are. Right. They get to travel to Nairobi. I mean, they get to get a mentorship. They totally get to take some cash away. It's an entire package. It's a package. Thank you so much, Victoria, for coming through. Victoria My Bianca. Pleasure from DFC Bank. Let's look forward to season three. I want to see you on board so you can grow, all right? Let's help each other grow. Okay, that's it for the Technote conversation. We're taking a short commercial break. We'll be back with some goodies for you. Stay with us.